The sky is falling. A strong wind was blowing. It was making whistling sounds in the jungle. This scared a timid rabbit who lived in the jungle. Oh, that noise is so scary. Let me hide myself here. He hid himself in his burrow under the mango tree. Suddenly, he heard a heavy thud. The frightened rabbit sprang out of his burrow. The sky is falling! The sky is falling! He started screaming and running as fast as he could. On the way, the jackal saw the scared rabbit running. He asked, what happened? Why are you running? The rabbit replied hurriedly. Didn't you hear that scary noise? The sky is falling! Run! And he again started running. Hearing this, the jackal started running too. As they ran, other animals such as the giraffe, elephant, deer and horse too joined them. Hearing the commotion, the Lion King came out of his den. Roaring. Why are you all running? What happened? All the animals replied in chorus. The sky is falling! The lion was surprised. Who told you this? He demanded. The rabbit came forward. But the clever lion was not ready to believe such stories. He asked the rabbit to take him to the place where the sky fell. The rabbit took the lion and the other animals to the mango tree. But what did they see there? A big mango lying on the ground. All the animals now understood what had happened. They were ashamed to have believed the rabbit's words. Do not jump into any conclusion before investigating the matter fully. The wolf and the three sheep. Shirley, Burley and Curly were three sheep brothers. They all lived in a beautiful straw house. One day, a wicked wolf came to live close to the house. This scared the sheep brothers. The eldest sheep said, The wolf could attack us anytime. We need to be prepared. This house won't protect us. The little brothers agreed. Hence, they decided to build a stronger house. They soon finished constructing their new house. The house was beautiful and strong. One day, the wolf approached the house with the intention of feasting on the three brothers. He knocked at the door, but the door did not open. Ha! Won't you open the door? Then I'll huff and I will puff and I will blow your house in, howled the wolf. He started banging his head on the door, but the door wouldn't budge at all. The wolf was frustrated, but wasn't ready to give up. He climbed onto the roof of the house and tried entering through the chimney. However, the sheep brothers were too smart to foolish the wolf. They had arranged locks in the fireplace and set fire. The wolf jumped through the chimney and landed directly into the fire at the fireplace. The three clever sheep had outwitted the wolf. With careful planning, one can defeat even the strongest of enemies. The Wolf and the Crane one day, a hungry wolf found a big dead animal. Wow, this will make for a wonderful meal, thought the fox. He at once jumped upon it and began eating hurriedly. The wolf was in such haste that while eating, a bone got stuck in his throat. The wolf tried hard to bring out the bone but failed miserably. The greedy wolf even tried to swallow the bone to continue eating, but didn't succeed. At last, he went to a crane that lived by a river. 
the wolf said to the crane, A bone has got stuck in my throat while eating. Please extract it out with the help of your long, long neck, will you? I promise I will pay you well. The crane agreed. He inserted his long beak inside the wide open mouth of the wolf. The crane's long neck helped him in reaching down the throat and pulling the bone out. After accomplishing the work successfully, the crane said, Now pay me for my service! The cunning wolf laughed. <laughs> Payment for your service? Thank me for allowing you to get your head out of my mouth. Never believe a weak person's promise. The cat and the fox. It was evening time. A cat and a fox were sitting and chatting. These hounds are horrible. I hate them, said the fox. Yeah, right. I too don't like them at all, retorted the cat. The hounds are very fast, but I'm sure they'll not be able to catch me. I know several tricks. I'm too smart for them, said the fox. Tricks? What tricks? The cat was very curious to know. There are many, replied the fox boastfully. I can run through prickly plants, hide behind bushes, or even in burrows, beamed the fox. Is it so? asked the cat innocently. Yes, and I don't plan to teach you any of that. Those tricks are only for intelligent ones like me, the fox said boastfully. I know only one trick. The cat sounded a little sad. Uh, Suddenly, uh, they heard the sound of the approaching hounds. Now, uh, I will use the trick and save myself. Uh, Let me see how you save yourself. <laughs> Saying that, the cat quickly climbed onto the nearby tree. The fox tried all of his tricks, but he failed. Oh no. The hounds caught him and killed him. It's better to be a master of one trade than a jack of many trades. The Cows and the Tiger In a deep forest, there lived four cows. They were good friends. They always grazed together. Wherever they went, they went in a group. In spite of living amidst the wild animals, no one could ever dare to harm them due to their unity. A tiger had been watching these cows for quite some time. He always wanted to feast upon them. How tasty these fat cows would be, he thought. But whenever he tried, he was driven away by them as they struck back together. Don't talk to me! You don't talk to me! I don't want to be in this group anymore! Neither do I! Saying this, each cow went in a different direction to graze. The tiger 
grabbed this great opportunity. <laughs> Finally, the day has arrived. He laughed. He then pounced upon the cows one by one and gobbled them up. United we stand, divided we fall. The mouse and the bull. One summer afternoon, a mouse came out of his hole and saw a bull fast asleep under a tree. The loud snore evoked the curiosity of the mouse. Wow, how huge his nostrils are! exclaimed the mouse. He entered it and came out just for fun. <laughs> the bull woke up and cried in pain. Hearing this, the mouse got scared and started running. The bull gave a good chase, but in vain. The mouse went into his hole. However, the bull was not ready to give up. He angrily bellowed. You silly mouse, how dare you? I'll teach you a lesson. Oh, mighty bull, sorry, I did that just for fun, said the mouse. But the bull wasn't convinced. He angrily dashed his head against the wall, hoping to break the wall and capture the mouse. He dashed and dashed until he became tired. The wall didn't budge. Oh, foolish bull. Just because you're big and strong, it doesn't mean that you can achieve anything. Stop breaking your head and go now, mocked the mouse. The bull understood the truth in the words of the mouse. He silently walked away. Might may not always be right. Belling the cat. Once upon a time, there lived many mice in a grocer's shop. They lived very happily, gobbling up all the grocery items. However, the shopkeeper wasn't happy, so he decided to get a cat to deal with the nuisance. In a few days, the cat ate a number of mice. This scared the other mice. They were not able to lead a happy life as before. Hence the mice held an urgent meeting to find a solution to the cat menace. We need to get rid of the cat. The mice decided. But how? One mouse had a suggestion. If somehow we could know when the cat comes towards us, we can hide somewhere to save ourselves. Another clever mouse suggested. The cat's neck. Wow, wow that's, that's a, a great, great idea. idea! Replied all the mice in unison. They praised the young mouse for his brilliance. However, one old mouse stood up and asked, Wait, before you cheer, think who is going to bell the cat? All the mice remained silent. No one wanted to bell the cat. Imaginary solutions never serve a purpose. 
The Clever Crow Once, a crow found a big piece of cheese. The crow held it in her beak and flew up to the tree branch to eat the cheese in leisure. As she was settling down, a hungry fox came by. When the fox saw the piece of cheese, his mouth watered. That cheese looked tasty and inviting, said the fox. But how do I get it? He thought. Suddenly, an idea flashed in his mind. The fox called out the crow in a very smooth, gentle manner. Madam? Crow, madam, crow, I've heard that you have a very sweet voice. Would you mind singing a song for me? He asked. The crow was way smarter than the fox. She understood his cunning intention. She carefully took the piece of cheese from her beak and put it under her foot. Then she said sarcastically, I'm ready to sing now. Are you ready? The fox was outwitted. He did not reply. He quietly walked away. Be careful of flattery. Fox and the Cock One day, a fox was passing by a tree. He saw a cock sitting on one of the tree branches. The fox's huh? mouth watered. <laughs> What a fine lunch he would be, thought the fox. But the fox did not know how to climb a tree. He somehow had to make the cock come down. He looked up at the cock and said gently, Hello, friend. I have a great news. What is it? Asked the cock. I am a messenger of God. Hereafter, no animal will eat any other animal. We are all friends. Come down, let's celebrate. <laughs> the smart cock replied, Whoa, that's really great. We should probably call our friends the hounds. Huh? Look, they are almost here. Uh, uh, uh. The fox gasped on hearing uh. this. As he was about to run, the cock asked, why are you afraid? Aren't we all friends now? Uh, yes, but the hounds might not know this yet. Saying this, the fox oh. ran away as fast oh. as his legs could carry him. Always remain cautious of cunning people. The Blue Fox One day, a fox was wandering in search of food. A group of dogs spotted him and started chasing him. The fox ran for his life. As he was running, he suddenly tumbled into a big tub of blue dye. He hid there until the dogs were gone. Oh, that was a great escape, said the relieved fox to himself. He slowly came out and fled to the jungle. As the fox walked through the jungle, he met other animals on the way. Oh, 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 run, run. All the animals seemed to be scared of him. He had no idea why. He walked and walked until he reached the jungle pond. As he bent down to drink some water, he looked at his reflection. His whole body was blue in color. He now understood everything. The cunning fox now plotted a brilliant plan. He called out for all his friends and said, I'm a messenger of God. I'll be your king going forward. Don't be afraid. The animals believed the strange creature and accepted him as their king. The fox led a happy life as the king of the jungle. One day, the fox king heard a pack of foxes howling. Uh oh, what a wonderful music. 
I cannot stop myself to hold too. Unable to resist his urge, the blue fox started howling too. Hearing this loud howl, the other animals finally figured out who this strange animal was. They smacked him and drove him out of the jungle. You can never hide your real identity. The Sour Grapes A hungry fox was walking through a vineyard. His tummy was making grumbling sounds. The big ripe bunches of grapes hanging above his head tempted the fox. His mouth started watering. The fox craned his neck and tried to get hold of a bunch. However, the grapes were beyond his reach. The fox now jumped a little. The grapes were still unreachable. Let me try harder, the fox said to himself. So the fox stood on his hind legs and stretched himself to catch the grapes with his forelegs. Oh, alas! The fox could not even touch the grapes. I am quite tall. I can do it, said the fox to himself. He jumped and jumped for a long time to get hold of a bunch of grapes. But he could not reach them. He finally gave up. He was very disappointed. <laughs> Who wants such sour grapes? Not me! Saying this, the proud fox walked away. What we did not get is declared worthless by us. Jungles Without Animals Long, long ago, there lived a king who was very fond of hunting. However, the king's hobby was causing a great loss to the jungles. There were hardly any animals left. This concerned the wise prime minister of the kingdom. He decided to make the king understand the situation. One day, the king went for hunting as usual, accompanied by his prime minister. On the way, they saw a group of parrots twittering aloud. Do you know what they are talking about? The king asked. The minister replied, Yes, Majesty, they are discussing about the marriage in their family. The groom's father want five empty forests for his son, whereas the bride's father is promising him ten. But how? exclaimed the king. The prime minister replied, The bride's father is saying that all jungles will soon be devoid of animals and birds, given the king's passion for hunting. The king suddenly realized what the prime minister was hinting at. He felt really ashamed of himself. He promised that he won't go on a hunting spree again. Be kind to animals, live and let live. The Capseller and Monkey Once there was a capseller in a town. <laughs> On one fine day, after he made a few sales of cups, he became very tired. He decided to sit under a big tree to take rest for a while. Soon, he slept off. There were many monkeys on the big tree. They saw the cap seller was sleeping under the tree. Hey friends, look at those wonderful caps! And the monkeys came down. Took the caps from the cap seller's back 
and wooed them. <laughs> then they climbed the tree again. When the cap seller woke up, he was shocked to see his back empty. Oh. Where are my caps? Where are my caps? To his surprise, he saw the monkeys were wearing them. <laughs> hey, monkeys, give my caps. Give my caps. You want your caps? <laughs> well, he thought of an idea to get back all of his caps. So he threw up his own cap on the air. The monkeys also threw up their caps. Then he threw the cap on the ground. The monkeys also threw down their caps. Who is that? Yes, the cap seller collected all the caps, put them back in his bag and went away happily. Goodbye! Wisdom is better than weapons of war. The Foolish Wolf Once, a wolf picked up the lamb from a herd of sheep and ran away. When he was about to kill the lamb, the lamb pleaded. You may kill me, sir, but please fulfill me my last wish before you do, please. What is your last wish? asked the surprised wolf. The lamb replied. I've heard that you play the flute really well. Could you please play a tune for me? I want to die in peace. The wolf was fluttered. He took out his flute and started playing. Once he stopped, the clever lamb said, It sounds so wonderful. Could you play it louder, please? <laughs> the foolish wolf did not understand the lamb's trick. Oh yes, I can definitely play it louder. Saying this, he started playing the flute even louder. The sound of the flute alerted the shepherd and his dogs. In no time, they reached the place where the wolf was. The dogs chased the wolf away and saved the lamb. The clever lamb was free. He happily went and joined his herd. Never lose your cool in adversity. The Dove and the Ant Once upon a time, on the bank of a river, there was a tree. A dove lived on one of its many branches. One day, when the dove was sitting on the tree, he saw an ant struggling for his life in the river waters. The ant was crying for help. Help me! Save me! The dove took pity on the poor ant. He plucked a leaf and placed it near the ant. The ant quickly climbed onto the leaf. The dove now picked up the leaf and dropped it on the land. Thank you very much, my dear dove friend. I'll never forget this help, said the ant. One day, as the dove was napping on one of the tree branches, a hunter came by. He saw the dove and aimed for it. With his bow and arrow, the ant was watching all this. Oh, my friend is in danger. I need to help him, cried the ant. He slowly crept behind the hunter and bit his toe. Huh? Cried the hunter. He lost the grip on his bow and the arrow missed the dove. The cry of the hunter alerted the dove and he flew to a safer place. Thus the good-hearted huh? dove was saved huh? by the ant. A good deed is always repaid with a good deed. The Ugly Tree In a dense forest, there stood a big tree. He was not like any other tree. He had crooked branches, pale dirty leaves, and a disfigured trunk. 
The other trees around him looked tall and elegant, while he was much shorter than most of them. The tree was never happy with himself. He even envied the other beautiful trees around him. Look at me! whined the tree. How ugly I am! How crooked my stems and branches are! How I wish I could be as beautiful as the other trees! One day, a woodcutter came to the forest to collect firewood. Oh, these tall trees will make for good wood. Let me chop them first. Saying that, he chopped down a few of the long slender trees. Once he was done with a few trees, he came to the crooked tree. He came around the tree and examined it carefully. Mm. This tree seems to have some problem. Moreover, these twisted branches won't be of any use for me. Let me not waste time cutting it down. The woodcutter picked up the chopped wood and went away. The tree heaved a sigh of relief. All these days, he had thought he was ugly. But now, the very same ugliness had saved his life. Always be content with what you have. The Truthful Woodcutter One day, as usual, a woodcutter was on his way to work. When he was crossing the river, accidentally his axe fell into the river. My axe! My axe! Oh, my axe! He was a very poor, so could not buy a new axe at all. I lost my axe! I lost my axe! Hearing his sobs, an angel appeared before him. Your axe. The angel came up carrying a golden axe. Take your axe. No, no, this is not my axe. My axe was made of iron. No, no, this is not my axe. My axe was made of iron! The angel once again plucked into the river and soon reappeared carrying the axe of the woodcutter. Oh, I got my axe! I got my axe! Oh, angel, thank you very much. I will always indebt to you. The angel was impressed by the man honesty. She presented him the gold and silver axes in recognition of his truthful nature. brings his own reward. The Boy and the Wolf There once lived a shepherd boy. Every day he would go up the hill to graze his sheep. One day he was bored and he wanted to have some fun. He shouted Wolf! Wolf! Help! There's a wolf! The farmers working in the fields heard what? the boy's cries for help. What? They run up the hill to save the boy. Where's the wolf? Where is the wolf? They cried. They looked around, but there was no wolf. The farmers warned him against playing such tricks and walked away. But the boy wouldn't listen. He played the same trick again. This time the farmers grew angry. They said, If you ever do this again, we will not come to your rescue. And walked away. The next day, what the boy said for fun really happened. Yes, a wolf indeed came to the spot. The boy climbed on the tree and started crying out for help. There's a wolf! There's a wolf! Alas, no one came. 
the wolf killed all the sheep one by one and feasted on them. The boy couldn't do anything but watch helplessly. Never lie. Once you are known as a liar, you will not be taken seriously. The two mice. A country mouse and a town mouse were very good friends. One day, the country mouse asked the town mouse, Why don't you come home sometime? The town mouse happily agreed. The country mouse welcomed him to his home and served him a variety of fruits and nuts. They ate their food peacefully in the open fields. However, the town mouse soon grew tired of eating the simple food there. He said, What a boring life this is! Come with me to the town! I'll show you how wonderful my life is! The country mouse readily accepted his friend's invitation, so the two friends set off to town. The town mouse took the country mouse to his home. A kitchen in a big house in the town. He served his friend a very delicious fare, including cakes, biscuits and bread. As they sat down to eat, they heard footsteps of the lady of the house. They quickly hid in a hole. After a while, they emerged out of their hideouts and sat down again to eat. It was the house cat. Hearing the mew of the cat, the mice ran for their lives. The country mouse didn't like it at all. He said to the town mouse, what a life you're leading! You cannot even eat in peace! I can't live like you! I'm going back! Saying this, the wise country mouse went back to his village. All material riches cannot provide happiness! <laughs> <laughs>